Coronavirus tonight, a judge has denied an attempt to end COVID testing of youth athletes. That judge ruling the state health director has authority to issue emergency rules that require the testing. It's in response to the injunction attempt from Let Them Play Michigan. Pfizer CEO says there could be a pill to treat coronavirus available by the end of the year. Meanwhile, Michigan reports 4,371 new cases and 38 additional deaths. Detroit is offering $50 debit cards to anyone who registers for its Good Neighbor program and brings a city resident to get vaccinated as it looks to boost its low vaccination rate. We are burying 100 of our neighbors in April. We don't want to bury another 100 of our neighbors in May. And so this is a time for you to reach out to people in your life, uh, do the right thing, and uh, be able to make a little bit of money at it. Tomorrow, Detroit will begin offering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine again to residents who want it. And tomorrow will be the first public comments from the former state health director since his abrupt resignation back in January. Yeah, Robert Gordon set to testify at 1030 a.m. before the House Oversight Committee after being subpoenaed last week. Lawmakers say they want to learn more about his separation agreement worth more than $155,000. Of course, last month, Governor Whitmer and Gordon both agreed to waive the confidentiality portion of that agreement. America is on the move again. That was the message from President Biden tonight while delivering his first speech to a joint session of Congress, a speech that covered everything from a proposed tax increase on the wealthy to a $15 minimum wage and a call for all Americans to get vaccinated. 90% of Americans now live within five miles of a vaccination site. Everyone over the age of 16, everyone, is now eligible to get vaccinated 